Welcome. You are watching this video because your doctor has prescribed the drug warfarin for you. Warfarin is a very important medicine because it can help you prevent blood clots. Blood clots can lead to serious health problems when they break off and travel to areas such as your legs, lungs, brain, or heart. Bronson Methodist Hospital created this video to help you feel more comfortable about taking warfarin. We will also give you some printed materials to take with you. As you watch the video, remember that we're here to help you. If there's something you don't understand, ask your nurse, doctor, or pharmacist. We as pharmacists are always happy to answer your questions, especially in regard to all your medications, because when not taken correctly, it could be harmful. One question you might have is what's warfarin? This is the generic name, but you may have also heard it called Coumadin or Jantovin. Regardless of what you call it, it's the same drug and does the same thing, thins the blood to prevent clots. You may also wonder what the drug looks like. Warfarin tablets come in different colors depending on the strength of the medication. Your doctor has prescribed a dose that's right for you. Being a, a, a medicine that affects how quickly your blood clots, uh, you're at increased risk for bleeding. So uh, things like uh, bleeding in your stools or bleeding from your gums are kind of things you should watch for. And those are things that should alert a phone call to somebody that your warfarin level may not be uh, correct. People who have had a heart attack often take warfarin because it lowers the risk of another heart attack or stroke. It also lowers the risk of blood clots traveling to other parts of the body. Sometimes blood clots will form on surfaces of blood vessels uh, because of damage to that blood vessel or form in the heart because of damage to the heart. When those blood clots form, they can break off and move somewhere or they can block, if they form in a blood vessel, the actual blood vessel itself stopping blood flow. Here you see a blood clot blocking a blood vessel. It stops the flow of blood and damages tissues. This can occur in parts of your body including your arms and legs, lungs, and even your brain and may ultimately result in death. The number one reason why people take warfarin is for a condition that causes an irregular rapid heartbeat called atrial fibrillation or AFib. When someone has atrial fibrillation, the heart is pumping so fast that the blood cannot fill the atrium and filter out. Therefore, blood sits in other parts of the heart and starts to clump together. When parts of the clump break off, they often clog blood vessels. A clogged blood vessel in your heart leads to a heart attack. A clogged blood vessel in your brain is called a stroke. As warfarin is a blood thinner, it prevents the clotting from happening. This makes it easier for the blood to flow in and around your body. You may be wondering if warfarin is a new drug. The answer is no. In fact, it's been around for a long time. Dwight Eisenhower was one of the first people to take it 50 years ago. It's a safe drug, but it is powerful, so you should be careful how you take it. Do not take more than the dose prescribed and take your dose at the same time every day. I usually try to take my medications in the morning after I eat my breakfast so that way I can stay on time and keep track of it. If you forget, take your warfarin as soon as you remember, unless it's been 12 hours since your last dose. Write down when you missed your dose so you can tell your doctor or pharmacist. And, as always, call them with any questions. Whatever you do, do not take a double dose of warfarin to make up for the missed dose. Uh, well, if you double up on your warfarin dose for, the, for that day, it's very possible that your blood may become too thin, and then you'll be at increased risk of bleeding or easy bruising. Um, perhaps if you have a fall, you may have a bigger bruise than you would like. Warfarin is... Um it's a very important medicine to take, but it does require a fair amount of follow-up. Specifically, when um, taking warfarin, you're going to need to have your blood drawn uh, relatively often in the first week or so. Uh, we need to make sure that when we give warfarin, that the dose is correct. Your dose may change over time. To make sure you're always getting the right dose, you will need to have a blood test on a regular basis. 
The blood test is calculated to give us a number called the INR. INR stands for International Normalized Ratio, which determines how thin or thick your blood is, and is as well as how long it takes your blood to clot. So the higher the number, which means that your blood takes a little longer than normal to clot, and if it's lower, it takes a shorter period of time for it to clot. Because the blood test is based on an international standard, patients can be tested even while traveling outside the area. Having a regular blood test is an excellent way to know if you're taking the right level of warfarin. And there's another good thing. It does not hurt at all. They just take a little blood out of your finger and they put it in this machine and two or three minutes later the machine tells you what, uh, what the count is. When you start taking warfarin, you may have blood tests every day for a few days. Then after that, less often. Your dose will be monitored at your doctor's office or at an anticoagulation clinic. It's important to keep all your blood test appointments and follow the schedule your doctor or pharmacist recommends. They will work with you as a team to help manage your dose. There are many things that can affect your blood test results, so make sure to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you've been sick or if you're taking any kind of medicine. This could include a prescription or over-the-counter drug, herbal or nutritional dietary supplement, or other vitamin. Even a change in your diet or activity level can change the way your body reacts to warfarin. So be sure to let your doctor or pharmacist know about any changes. Yeah, it's very important to know which kind of uh, other, other medications because um, there are several medications that can influence um, the warfarin. Uh, some medicines are also blood thinners as well, and so if you're on a blood thinner with warfarin, then, you're, then you need to know if it's going to be even more thin. There is the potential for multiple drug-drug interactions with, with warfarin. So it's very important if you're on this medicine to let your doctor or the clinic who's following your, your warfarin level know if there's any new medicine started. And this can be anything from new blood pressure medicines to antibiotics and other things. I take several different medicines, and so I just ask my doctor, is it okay for me to take all these medicines at one time because um, I don't want it to be any kind of side effects. As we have said, warfarin is a safe drug and is well tolerated by most people. However, some patients do have side effects. The most common side effect of warfarin is bleeding. This typically occurs when your dose is too high. Bleeding can happen in many different places in your body. For example, your gums may bleed when you brush your teeth. You might have nosebleeds or bleed a long time after cutting yourself shaving. Other side effects related to bleeding include throwing up blood, black tarry stools, red or dark brown urine, or unusual bruising on your skin. On the other hand, if your dose is too low, there is a higher chance that a blood clot could form. This may lead to stroke or other complications. Sudden loss of vision, sudden weakness, sudden numbness, sudden severe headaches, sudden inability to talk, sudden inability to understand, sudden severe confusion, all these sudden changes in their neurological functioning, if you will, ability to do things. Might be also sudden in shortness of breath, sudden inability to um, get up and walk without becoming uh, very, very short of breath, um, sudden chest pain. Some other side effects include yellowing of your skin or eyes, fever, chills, sore throat or cough, and purple discoloration of your toes or soles of your feet. While there are several potential side effects, the likelihood that you will experience them is rare. If you do have any side effects, call your doctor or pharmacist right away. Yes, we do want patients to call and um, notify us of any changes as well as if they have any concerns or have noticed anything different. As we've mentioned, warfarin interacts with many drugs, which means taking the drug with certain medicines could be harmful. It may also limit your body's ability to absorb warfarin properly. That's why patients should follow this advice. Just to be careful, um, just to check in with your doctor or your pharmacist 
to just to make sure the drugs that you're taking is safe for you and make sure that they don't counter react with one another. Common drugs that can interact with warfarin include many over-the-counter pain relievers like Tylenol, aspirin, and products that contain aspirin, like certain ointments and Pepto-Bismol, ibuprofen, such as Motrin, Advil, and Nuprin, and naproxen, such as Aleve and Arutus KT. Your doctor and pharmacist want you to be healthy while taking warfarin. A healthy diet rich in vitamins will help you heal faster. But you need to know that your intake of vitamin K should be moderate and consistent while taking warfarin because it affects how your body forms blood clots. Vitamin K is found in green leafy vegetables like lettuce, cabbage, broccoli, and spinach. What the vitamin K foods will do will start thickening up again, so you want to have that balance between the two. So keeping your diet mo in moderation and consistency is the key. The diet that, that you eat affects the warfarin because there are certain foods that can uh, make your blood too thin or too thick with the warfarin. And so it's very important to keep a consistent um, diet because as if you do eat, uh, for instance, a lot more uh, green vegetables, then that will affect your warfarin levels. For more information about how much vitamin K is in certain foods, ask your doctor or pharmacist. We have covered a lot of material in this video, so let's repeat the most important points. Take your dose at the same time every day. And if you miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember, unless it's been 12 hours since your last dose. Tell all your health care providers, including your dentist, that you are taking warfarin. Try to keep your diet consistent and eat the same amount of green vegetables every week. And call your doctor or pharmacist with any questions or concerns. Since warfarin has been on the market for many years, we've had time to see the overall benefits and how they far outweigh any potential side effects. Well, there are clear benefits in certain heart conditions, uh, specifically heart rhythm conditions like atrial fibrillation, where the top chamber of the heart will race very fast. That's a condition that can increase your risk of stroke. Um, uh, warfarin lowers your risk of stroke considerably. And warfarin's a very good medication when used correctly. Don't do anything special, but be consistent. Most people can take the drug. It's very well tolerated. It's been around for a long time, and it's been shown to be very safe um, and also effective in treating uh, people who have the diseases that need their blood thin. I think it really has helped a lot. We hope this video has helped you understand more about the drug warfarin. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask your doctor or pharmacist. Tell us what you need to know to feel comfortable with your medication. Thanks for watching.